Hi folks, I thought this uh, might be easier to actually show you rather than try and explain. Lumens, Candela and Lux. Uh, and I'm starting off here with a kind of floody type light. This one will go up to 11,000 lumens. We can all see what the lumen output is of a light simply by looking at the box. Um, that's not everything though. We have to consider a Candela, which is the intensity of the beam, and Lux which I would say is the most important thing. Lux is what we see. Uh, so in this particular spot that I'm in at the moment, uh, you know, regardless of the, the lumen output, this light is throwing those 11,000 lumens absolutely all over the place, as you can see. And that is what we're seeing. That's the lux of the light, and that's really hard to quantify. I've deliberately started in this particular place because the the kind of loads of trees and things like that around me for this light to kind of like a shotgun if you like go everywhere and splatter off these trees and be reflected back that's Lux um, but going down into the distance there can't see that can I it's coming into a little bit of a, a black hole but if I jump to this light just swap hands. I need three hands for this, don't I? If I switch over to this light uh, at around a thousand lumens, what's immediately apparent is I've lost all this kind of peripheral illumination, and instead, what I have is this kind of pencil light beam. That's the candela. So this this light is one tenth of the power of the, the light that we just had before. And yet this one is cutting down the path. That's the candela, the intensity, the focused nature of the, of the beam. Can I, as you can see, it's just going to go on and on and on. Down that path. And if we get them out and have a look alongside each other. Wow, you know, the 11,000 lumens splatters the light everywhere but the 1000 lumens because of the high candela will cut through it so in terms of lux hard to quantify easy to visualize so the lux of this particular light is much much higher down that path than the lux of that light Whereas this particular light has a much, much higher lux in our immediate vicinity, as opposed to the, the pencil-like focus. You can, you might ask, ask why the middle ground is. And you can get... Scroll through our power levels. can get something like that this is trying to give us a little bit of a, a halfway house so we've still got more distance got a little bit of a balance beam isn't it but we're still not up to the looks of I can get it right. That particular light. That's your kind of halfway house. And we're trying to balance there the candela, the lumens, etc., etc., to give us a more balanced beam, which in English would translate to what we see, meaning the um, looks. I do have one last night. It's really difficult trying to rummage around in your, in your pockets, you know, to do this. Let me show you this one. Sorry, folks, I'll try and get that right now. Too busy mucking about with so many torches in the night. Um, a question that pops up, why can't we have an adjustable torch? By adjustable, what we are doing is adjusting the candela. It's the same torch, so the... Um, the lumen output is the same, of course, 
um, but as you can see I can adjust the candela as in the intensity and what that is effectively doing is significantly changing what we see that is the looks how you know how do we how do we expect a light to perform so now I've vastly lowered the candela but changed the perception of what well it's not perception change what I see that's the looks and then I can go back again the other way these adjustable beams by the way they, they tend to be a little bit of a jack of all trades master of none uh, and they don't seem to be very popular but um, I don't want to get into that discussion I just want to show you the, the difference of the terminology in particular between candela and lux those are your two important things I would say rather than so much your lumens. Your lumens kind of more so describes the raw output of the torch. There's obviously an inference on how the torch will behave because of that. So let's move on and I'll show you some more at a little bit of a longer distance. I don't really use this spot too often. I mean, I ought to do. Uh, looking behind me, a really nice little bench there where I can put my gubbins instead of rooting around in my pocket. Uh, got some pretty good <coughs> uh, views from here. Uh, let me up the power. I've got my 11,000. Let's put it on turbo. My 11,000 lumen flutter. You can see there, moving up the side of this lake. The looks, what we can see, is just immense. Um, and for a flood of this particular one, it's not doing too bad. It's a Sofern Q8. It's uh, getting into the distance, isn't it? You know, going out to towards 100 metres now. And then turbo. But as I try to reach out towards the far side, kind of over there, this is where the you know the high lumen, floody type beam into the term flooders I suppose uh, lets us down but moving back round again that's very very impressive but we need a lot of lumens to do that you know to shotgun that light all around us to get what we see the, the look Now jumping over, just drop the power down. Now here's our 1000 lumen or 1200 I think it is, um, close range. What we're seeing I suppose in some respects that high candela is wasting our looks and, I, and our lumens I suppose isn't it? Is that the right word? As opposed to our flutter but when we start to open the distance a touch 11,000 lumens and we open up and go across I always cock this up when I try this but uh, let me have a go and hopefully I can get it right and not make too much of a mess of it I mean I can't even see uh, over over there it's that far and this is where the the candela comes in hopefully that's focused and should demonstrate that we've made that distance I might have messed it up if I messed it up you can get the gist there of what's happening with the um, the high candela light and let me move and throw in now our medium type <clears throat> beam get it right we're on about 3000 lumens now on kind of a, a halfway house <clears throat> return that 
trail we're off and go back. So what we can see now is the the mixture between the the flood and the throw. You know, there's a moderate amount of lumens. Think about two and a half thousand, three thousand, something like that. Uh, but with a, a balanced beam profile, moving down the side of this lake. I think we are getting into that corner there, aren't we? But nowhere near. Like the really high candela. But still not bad. Those two swans are probably wondering what on earth's going on. So I guess it's up to you folks as to what type of <clears throat> beam profile you're after you know something middle of the road out and out flood but compromising your distance or a really high candela type light and one of the other points final point to kind of make the higher the candela beam like this the lower the lumen output that the manufacturers can get away with because you're concentrating it. As you go for a middle type beam like that, you're going to have to up, up the power a bit because you, you, you're not concentrating the beam. And then again, something like this, you're going to have to up the power even more to achieve what we see when we're using the light, the looks. And this is why looks is everything and probably why um, you folks watch these types of videos so you can see you know what does it actually look like when we're using it thanks very much